Hey guys, before we get into today's video, did you guys know that I have a second YouTube channel? That's right, I have a second YouTube channel called Tenek FPS. This channel is based on first person, third person, all kinds of you know, different shooter games and stuff like that. Instead of flooding you guys with the shooter goodness and everything over here on Tenek 127 Gaming where you're looking for MMOs and stuff like that, I took all the good old shooter news and I put it on a second channel. So if you're looking for first person, third person, or any type of um, shooter content, games like Rogue Company, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and stuff like that, be sure to check me out on Tenek FPS. Link to that channel will be in the description below. Your support is appreciated. Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And I gotta be honest with you guys, making this video um, right now, it honestly makes me nervous. And like, I'm not even gonna lie, I even got like a little anxiety while I'm recording this. Uh, and just, you know, it, it, it hurts making this video, but I'm concerned. I wanna express my concerns. And I want to talk about it. Now, originally, I was going to give you guys, you know, some nice, chill dungeon or, or world boss gameplay to go with today's commentary. But I sat in a queue for almost 45 minutes to an hour and nothing popped. So I said, you know what, I'm going to have to take a trailer and just, you know, play it on, play it on repeat because I don't have any gameplay. And what I want to talk about today is Bless Unleashed. The state of it, um, why I haven't made any videos... And things, and things like that. And for a lot of people that joined here, joined this channel for Bless Unleashed content, I want to thank you so much. And um, I'm not going to stop unless the developers, you know, ultimately stop the game. But the reason I haven't, and you know, for the guys on Discord who occasionally ping me and say, Hey, where's the videos and streams, man? Here's your answer. There hasn't been anything to talk about. <laughs> Nothing's been going on. Nothing's went on since the trailer that you're watching in the background now, which was the Awakening update that, that was announced almost a year ago. And shortly after this update, we had got a roadmap which was specifically shown for the PC version, but from um, some sources I had talked to at Bandai, a lot of that content was coming to console too. And they had said at the time that the only reason they hadn't shown a roadmap for a console was because they didn't know the order that they would be getting the content in for the console version. Which, you know, makes makes sense in the long run. But it's the years, the years over halfway over. We haven't heard a thing about this update. None of the new content. We haven't heard a thing about the raid coming to Bless Unleashed that's been promised. We haven't heard a thing about the, the new class. I was even, you know, just leveling other classes just for fun because I wanted to to try the assassin out. I was um I'm looking forward to it. Still looking forward to it and um and bless. I'm hoping it comes to fruition. But the main reason I'm making this video and um the reason I'm talking about my concerns is because like I know developers go radio silent sometimes and stuff like that, but I just always have this paranoid fear that Everyone who warned me about NeoWiz could be right. And, you know, I was that guy, you know, that, that, that chose to believe. Now, I'm not saying they are right. But, um, you know, just the way things are with Bless right now worries me. When I reach out to Bandai Namco, they don't seem to, to know too much. I'm not really even in, sure how to get in touch with NeoWiz. I know NeoWiz has multiple projects that they're working on game-wise right now. One of them is um, Lies of P, a new upcoming Souls-like action RPG coming in 2023 that I'm absolutely excited for. And don't get me wrong, you know, I have grown to like these developers a lot. But I can't shake this feeling right now that I'm concerned with Bless. Now, if you know... If they come out in a, in a couple months, couple weeks, whatever, and just say, hey, you know, we're still working on the content we promised for Bless. We're sorry it's taken so long. Certification this, dev complication that. I'm, I'm sorry I even made this video. All right, and I, I'll take back everything I'm saying. But the state of Bless Unleashed right now just really currently has me worried. It has me 
overthinking about a lot of, you know, the things people have said when it comes to Neo Wiz and stuff like that. And I want that to be, to be wrong. And especially here with a console MMORPG because, um, console games, you know, they, they take a lot more to make. You got certification to go through. Um, I know development with consoles is more complicated. There's a lot of different things, you know, that go into making a, a console game from, from what I'm told. And one thing I have always given Neo is to try and tell people um, when they get their their opinions, you know, that they just they they rip um they rip players off. They've done this before with the Bless IP and stuff like that. This is the one thing I've always said about Neo is, and this is the point I've tried to make to people. I don't understand the point of making the same game over and over and over again and keep trying to do the same thing if you're not passionate about it. And that's the one thing I've always said in Neo is the defense. Maybe they've, you know, really have tried to do bless over and over and over and it doesn't pan out how they want to each time. And that's why, you know, the bless IP keeps keeps coming out. You know, and there's a lot of people who say, oh, you know, they're doing cash grabs and stuff like that. Me personally, I don't know. I don't I don't work for for Neo is. I'm not a part of them. I'm not their CEO. I don't know what goes on in their in their head. But I just, I can't shake the feeling that, you know, people have said these things about Neo is in the past and Bless will randomly get this dry spell and it'll, and then the game will get some type of shutdown notice. And the thing is, we're in a big dry spell with Bless Unleashed right now. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I just, I personally don't know how to take it. I don't know, you know, what to do or, or. Or, or what to say. I'm personally concerned because I have a lot of faith in this game. I like this game. I really do enjoy this game. I loved making content on this game. But there has been nothing to do on it for, you know, months. Um, You know, every now and then on Twitter, they'll announce some type of event with the GMs and, and Game Masters and stuff like that. I'll compete with them for the fastest dungeon runs or hide-and-seek events. You know, they try, they try their best to engage with... With the community, you know, with what they have and stuff like that. I just can't, you know, shake the feeling that something may be wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping, you know, that this isn't the case. I'm not making this video to offend any developers, piss off anybody. I'm not making this video, you know, to try and um, counter anyone who says... Um, Neowiz makes cash grabs and, and stuff like that. I'm not trying to start anything with anyone it's just i'm concerned about bless and leash and i really don't know what the future holds for the game and i'm i'm honestly hoping it's something bright and i'm just i'm hoping you know everybody with the negative opinions is really wrong for a change let me know how you guys are feeling about it down in the comments below are you all concerned about bless and leash let me know i will see you all in the next video peace out have a good one.